All right, we're back, and I've been hit with a bombshell. Uh, Daz here doesn't know how to say his own name. Well, you don't use your name often. No, true, but how do you... What do you mean you don't know? So when I introduce myself to someone, yeah. I'll be like, hi, my name is Darren. Yeah. And then I'll rethink myself. <laughs> how I said it. I'm like, well, you did have, I say it right? You have an ex- existential crisis. Yes. Straight away. <laughs> because I don't know many Darrens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So just, so, just Daz? So when I say, yeah, no. So when I introduce myself to people, yeah. I say, my name is Darren. But yeah. I proceed to say in my head again, my name is Darren. My yeah. name is Darren. <laughs> <laughs> like, three times until I, I like realize, your... <laughs> until I feel comfortable with the way I said it in my head. <laughs> What? So you're like, you're like a sleeper agent. You got to figure it out in the inside, and that's how the, when you speak, you activate it. That's how. That's how I'm picturing it, and that's how I think it's going. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then, like, yeah, I, I think because I, I get some sort of anxiety when I yeah. like talk to people for the first, especially if it's like someone important. Yeah. Like, something like that. Um, and I used to always like fuck it up the way I said it. Yeah. Um, I like I don't know like I just like stutter or like just freak out like mid midway through Darren like, I'm like is it Darren Darren Darren, Darren? Darren? Darren. <laughs> like, like I have to figure out how to do the pronunciation bro <laughs> and the, it doesn't help when people don't like get it either yeah especially when they're like is it Darren with an A at the end E or is it I like <laughs> Darren yeah like that they, like in their head they don't know either like it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard anyone pronounce it Darren Darren uh, look no Darren Darren that's a person. I it's think. not always obvious to them. To yeah. just, it, it is what like it sounds like. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, well, like, yeah. My favorite was when I was ordering a pizza once, and the guy's like, oh, yeah, what's your name, mate? And I'm like, my name's Darren. He's like, Josh? Like, <laughs> <laughs> my mother. That's, that is. <laughs> how the fuck did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> but Rome was in another world. Like, I don't know. It's, um, I did actually hear that it's, uh, what, wait, what was the pizza shop? Was it, what were you ordering from? Uh, hot house pizza. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. All right, see, uh, initially with that mistake, uh, I connected to Dots and thought that you were ordering from Domino's because I heard it's mandatory that um, if you don't, if you, if you do a drug test for Domino's and you, it's found that you don't have any drugs in your system, you're actually fired. <laughs> that's, a, that's a real thing and definitely not worth searching up because it's not made up. 100% true. <laughs> seems legit. Seems legit. <clears throat> um, anyway, yeah, I'm joined by Daz on the Barnsley Burns Down the World podcast studio thing now um we we're trying to figure out what the intro was that's what it is now uh <laughs> we've got we've got a great fucking episode uh or two if we talk for t- um longer than an hour then i'll just release a part two and we'll find out in the future if that's where it goes but mate we're fucking ready how's it feel being here is it you've got past the weirdness yet nah, i don't know we'll see <laughs> we'll see <laughs> this- our conversations are pretty weird anyway. So yeah. <laughs> this is not, yeah, you're true. This we, is not something new because we've talked for like four hours at a time before. Without... But on a Discord. <clears throat> Discord, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So we'd, we'd talk online and that would just go on for four and a half hours, five hours sometimes. Like, oh shit, we've got things to do in real life. <laughs> 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 we shouldn't be here, but uh, now now we're here. Uh, and that's that. Uh, I've got to be more conscious as well. If I start like folding my hands in front of my friend like that, I can hear a very faint microphone clap feedback. So if I do that, call me out on that. Okay. Yeah, just because I'm trying to, and I almost did it. I'm bringing it up now. It's just something I've noticed, and I'll leave this part in. Uh, also, try not to say anything that you don't want me to edit out. I want to do as little work as possible. And every time uh, I've been with uh, just Tom, I've had to make an edit. I'm just saying, and this is also a public call out. Stop making me edit shit out. All right please <laughs> as, as a filmmaker and like photographer myself i understand the struggles of editing yeah. well let's um let's talk a bit about that like um what what things you are you know, I, I already know what you like to do but like <clears throat> what's the what what mutual interests or what, what things would you tell me about that you do on the weekend like hobbies and stuff going i'll leave you to talk okay yeah well that's it's a funny thing you wouldn't expect josh and i to be friends based on our lives i guess <laughs> Um, cause like I studied like civil engineering in uni and Josh is, you know, a dropout now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Well, yeah. Yeah. But and, well, we had, we had some mutual friends. Yes, I was getting to that. Yeah. Cause, cause we, we did go to the same high school, but we didn't actually become proper friends until after high school, surprisingly mm. through our mutual friends. Yeah. Uh, and really what kicked it off was like our love of comedy. Like yeah. we just, it was, yeah, I didn't really have a lot of friends that were into stand up comedy at all. Um, so it was really refreshing when I got, found out that Josh was a big fan. Yeah, yeah, look, because we, we were at, um, we were at a mate's, uh, was it, uh, just a drinking, okay, was it a New Year's or was it just drinking? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, and... We just happened to have mutual friends at the same party. Yeah, so we started talking and it's like, oh, do you watch this person? Oh, yeah, I'll check them out. Do you watch yeah. this? Do you know these? And then it just 
kind of went on from there. Yeah, and it was cool because it was pretty diverse, the conversation we were having, because yeah. I know Josh is well-versed with like Australian comedians, and I was like more into like American comedians and a few British comedians, so it was nice to yeah. like discuss it's it's you was he because you travel you go around different places like dude even uh open mic comedians like there was a guy who i've seen pop up on tiktok that just tom would show me uh and i met him in person by accident just because he showed up at the same open mic night that i did i was like wait you look familiar and uh it, it's, it was a pretty funny um it's a pretty funny tiktok i'll show you i'll show you after not, yeah. <laughs> not now but it's um yeah no the dude it was it was so weird it's like fuck i've seen you on my phone on, on the screen that sits in my pocket it's, this is fucking surreal but that's at the like lowest level now speaking of levels i do actually want to bring up uh so daz showed me this article not article uh what's the word uh document it was like what was, what was it it was so it's a government like thing called the australian qualifications framework right okay. basically it it outlines what level and like kind of like education you've received and that's like the qualification level that it w equates to right depending on the type of education you receive basically right. this, this starts from after high school or like your vc in australia in by australia the way. yes yeah. Yeah. not that anyone from overseas is listening <clears throat> but you know <laughs> we yes. just want to clear it up but you could probably figure out where it would stand in your education system as well right so, so just to just to run through the ranks we've got cert cert sorry I was saying cert, I'll say certificate. Certificate one, two, three, four. Then it goes diploma, uh, advanced diploma, or associate's degree. It goes to bachelor degree, undergraduate degree, uh, bachelor honors degree. Uh, wait, hang on. So level eight there, what's that? Is that? That's, is all three of them fit into level eight? Is yeah. that what that is? Yeah. So in level eight, we have bachelor honors degree, graduate certificate, and graduate diploma. Level nine is master's degree, and level ten is doctoral. Doctoral? I can't speak English. Doctoral degree. <laughs> so, on the left, it's just listed uh, one to ten, and we had the idea to put different comedians that we know, not personally, just in general, uh, into each category in a sort of tier list system, I guess, of what defines uh, where they're at in their careers, based on what we know. Um, and just just for a bit of fun yeah. yeah it kind of gives them like some recognition for their their skill yeah. and talent yeah not that they need it from some podcast <laughs> that started two months ago but you know this is just this will be a fun exercise i'm gonna run it down as we go on my phone as well just so that we've got some framework but we also will speak out because obviously you cannot see what i'm looking at so uh level one cert one so i think that would be a open mic level actually no this would be our uh, thinking about... Oh, but I don't think I even said... We want to put it into um, comedy terms. Did I say that? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Not that explicitly, but yes. Yeah. That's what we're going for. All right. So the note is going to be called comedy tier list, even though it's not a tier list, but I'll know what it means. So level one. I think you'd say that it'd be people who go, oh, I want to start comedy. Or yeah, like, pretty, wanna... pretty unknown very low barrier to entry so yeah i wouldn't even say that's it's entered yet i'd say that it'd be like yeah, as in like you don't need any previous experience or to like get into it like that's where you're at like you're just gonna get into it so that sounds like open mic but i was gonna put that at level two because level one i'd say is you'd have enough interest to do something because you could have no interest in comedy and you wouldn't fit on the list at all but to have some interest Maybe, maybe even a level one uh, uh, viewer or like an audience member. Yeah, because I'd argue that everyone has like a sense of humor. So I would argue not everyone has a sense of humor because <laughs> we know some people who don't. <laughs> that might be a biased opinion. Cause... <laughs> <laughs> but okay, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. So, okay. So you, would, would you agree? Level one or like audience not participant audience member consumer consumer yeah okay, okay. comedy consumer yeah that's level one no one other than the general audience no no named people are going to level one for now but uh would you like to talk about level two what you think it is so would you like to go like individually each level or you want to start at the extremes and work our way i want to build up from level one to all level right, ten. Right. okay um then level two would be like people getting into like actually going for stand-up open 
open mic nights and stuff and just testing material and stuff out to right. see how they go. Yes. Now, I want to put myself into level two because that's pretty much where I'm at. I this, agree, yeah. Yeah. That seems about right. So that would be people who are ballsy enough to go, hey, yeah, I want to have a spotlight on me and maybe what I want to have to say is shit, but <laughs> give it a shot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, sometimes, okay, dude, I've, have you been to an open mic night? No, actually I haven't. Sometimes they're painful. <laughs> I can imagine. It's, it's a trial by fire. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. And from what I've heard about um, just the Melbourne comedy scene in general, it's better in plenty of other places. Maybe possibly even all other places. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's a personal opinion. Look, I've wanted to go, but... Josh insisted he didn't want us to watch him bomb on stage. <laughs> okay, by the way, I forgot to mention, so one of the previous audience, live studio audience member, who we, we are joined by today, uh, he actually came with me last week to an open mic night, and he had no idea what was going on, so I, I made, yeah, yeah. So we showed up uh, about three hours early to make sure I got on first, and I still got bumped down because of people who had comedy festival shows and shit. Yeah. So... We were sitting around just talking shit uh, for about an hour. Other comedians started showing up, and then I pretty much ignored him for two and a half hours just talking with the other comedians. And yeah, he was fine with that. I made sure. Um, but yeah, get up on stage. Uh, I did my current four minutes uh, and then fucked off. Now, uh, he sort of knew some of the jokes, but like not enough to be able to know what the material was, and he was still laughing along. And he was at the back. So there were people laughing at the back that I couldn't properly hear laughing uh, from the stage. But, uh, look, I didn't, I didn't bomb. It just wasn't as good as I thought, as I was, uh, as it was the previous night, all right? It was still good. It was still good, all right? I was doing a, a new bit uh, for the last uh, minute. Audience of 15, one woman was laughing consistently throughout the whole bit, but everyone else was a bit iffy. That's how I know it was okay. There was something good. There was something good there. I'll tell you about what the bit was later. <laughs> but I will remember that one woman in the audience of 15 who was laughing consistently throughout the whole way. She kept me going and it's like, all right, you know what? This is good. And then get off on stage on a good bit. And then we went to Crown and I lost $80. Now, <laughs> was it worth it? No. But, but the open mic night was, and it was good. It was very good. Um, and yeah, you, you can, if we if our schedules align and I'm in the city and look, I wouldn't be against it, but you know, up to you, up to you, you can come, but I can't promise anything yet. Right. That's fine. It's yeah, bro. I feel like I'm talking way too much here, man. <laughs> way too much. I need you to carry okay, on. Look, if I come, can I throw stuff at you? If you suck, like <laughs> deal, <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Now it'd be funnier. I think if I managed to catch it. I've seen your hand-eye coordination. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked, cunt. Nah. Okay. All right. All right. We'll discuss this after. <laughs> I think I think that's fair. All right. Level three. That is... What does that translate to in the system? Like, do you want to uh, read out or not? <laughs> I think... So level three is a certificate three. Um, and that's pretty achievable for most people. Like, that's... I think you could you could get a level two certificate in a year so level three shouldn't take that much longer yeah um, level three if you have enough money you could just get it like that's yeah. that's pretty much what i did after school yeah exactly yeah um so yeah i don't know i feel like you are more knowledgeable about this area than i am because i i skipped i went from high school like certificate like yeah. to level eight well, look at me look Would at you... me i skipped most of the system <laughs> fuck off all right how about that true maybe but um no nah, so from level five to level seven is all like uni stuff where you got your diploma advanced diploma uh bachelor degree all that shit yeah but i see here's the thing because you can I see the go, summaries they have there as well yes they can't uh, there is the they is hypothetical. Yes, I'm talking to you directly I now. It, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the uni shit is like, yeah, whatever. Dismiss it. I it didn't I'll, okay, I'll say level three. Maybe you're like a year into doing like open mic nights and stuff like that. You've like been persistent with how solid you five do. minutes. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> floating the possibility of doing a show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you reckon? Uh, one to two years experience and 
Hang on. See, when I'm not talking, I've also got to not click with my tongue. When I'm not talking, you've got to talk as well, so that there's actually something and there's okay, not an okay. awkward yes. silence. All right. <clears throat> the where I think the goal of this like list we're making is like obviously if you're at the like level ten level, it'd be someone like global comedian. <laughs> So that's what we're working up to. International news, name recognition, yes. and controversy. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's the most important part because controversy sells tickets. Yeah. So by that, for that logic, I'd say even level four, you'd still be open mic nights, but you're not exactly like. Well, no, you could get paid gigs. Yeah. Exactly. So, <clears throat> you'd, you'd for if you're at level four, you're still doing the things from level two. Yeah, it feels like you're still in the like learning phase. Like you're still. Oh, well, no, everyone, dude, yeah, everyone's course, learning. Yeah. Yeah. But you're still, like, testing a lot of material and, uh, like, you're trialing error. Like, dude, you have stuff. to test all material. I understand yeah. that. I understand. But you understand what I'm... Like, you're still learning about, like, like comedy in general. Like, you know, the timing and how to, like, change jokes and things like that. Like, that's still all new stuff to you, I feel. Um, <clears throat> Paid gigs and possi possibly yeah. a show for level four? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, because you can do... Um, you can do combined shows. So if you if you're mates with uh, a couple other comedians, and you'd be like, "All right, we got an hour show booked. There's three of us. We do twenty minutes each." Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. If you've got social media like circles of, well, I guess fans. It's so weird to call people fans because like I know that people, and I've been like in the fan camp because I obviously I still go watch comedy and shit. Yeah. Of course. So it's still it's still that transition. It's it's fucking weird. It's it's weird. But uh, I forgot where I was going with that, actually. <laughs> and this happens frequently. Uh, I should probably, uh, you know, check if I'm going to yeah. get Alzheimer's or something. Anyway, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> level four, you're like sussing paid gigs. Yep. Possibly doing it with other people to fill in the time. Uh, level five is a diploma. So I reckon that would be the point where you're getting... That's that. definitely, like, that's definitive. Like, yeah. you have, you do an hour, um, you're like, you're selling out shows on your own. Yeah. yeah yeah exactly yeah you've got proper like spots it's okay so i'm putting definitely a show yeah <clears throat> and you're you'd be recognized within the com comedy community see no dude i got that area well true i got recognized it was this was strange i think i i might have told you on friday um i went to the luke and lewis uh show on wednesday last wednesday uh and ruben ruben solo recognized me he's like hey yeah you look familiar and then he, he like joined the social circle with guys i was chatting with and yeah we just we had a chat too so like like that's but what i'm saying is i'm level five <laughs> 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 i got recognized by another guy who i've gone to shows booked at watched uh and am learning from so you know it's actually consistently it's no no bro it's like i saw I see, i've seen you once it's like that's true i've also only seen you once so but you know i also see him on fucking tiktok and all that shit um, yeah of course oh here's a little fun fact everyone who's known as like the tiktok comedian or the youtube you not youtube youtube comedian or like they hate that shit because it's like it's no they're around they are comedian they're stand-ups right yeah but if you're told, oh yeah, look, it's Ruben Solo, the TikToker. It's like, he, he, fuck it, he that's, does not yeah, like that. That's that's not the right title, yeah. No, bro, yeah. That, yeah, obviously, TikTok and these platforms are just a tool they use to share their yeah, comedy. Yeah, and then they get labeled as the tool, and it's like, it's it's tough. But you, the people who are more successful, we should start naming names in the, um, uh, what's it, in, in the levels. Yeah, yeah. so I'm gonna, I want to put Ruben into level five because he's got a show and I'm going to it. This is not a free promotion. I'm not going to tell you when it is or how much it was, but... <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> no, that's, that's, uh, yeah. that seems fair because he used to open for... Yeah, Lewis I've watched him so, open yeah, for Lewis. So. Uh, he opened for Luke a year ago. Um, and he, he, was, he was the editor yeah, yeah, for, course, um, yeah. for their podcast uh, for a good while. I think it was a year, maybe a year and a half. But that's how I found out about him, found out he was doing comedy. And then occasionally, right, I see his name pop up on the uh, open mic lists for yeah. uh, rooms where you have to sign up online. So it's like, oh shit, like he's he's there, he's doing it. But I don't see it very often, which means that's level five. Like, yeah. Because that's, that's how we're defining it. He's definitely got a show. So, yeah, you know, he's there. So I'm going to also write the name. Uh, Ruben Solo. There we go okay so level six this one i'm not too sure about because 
I feel like a le- level seven with a bachelor degree is probably where Luke and Lewis would sit. Okay, so I was going to... Maybe we should skip it then and work backwards because we know who's at level 10. We can sort of... I think we can define level nine. Eight's a bit iffy, but internet fame, like people who are known nationally, but... Yeah. That's it. So like uh, like local, national, international. Yeah. So th- those three that I've listed, they'll fit from... Between, yeah. What, seven, seven, eight, nine? Local, national, international? Yeah. All right, done. I'll write that in. Dude, this is the part where you speak while I'm silent. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> if, yeah, so if level seven... Yeah, level seven would be, like, I'd say where Luke and Lewis would be because they're pretty, like, nationally recognized, like, as some of the best so, means in Australia. Yes, they were going to go do international tours in 2020 mm. and then COVID happened. Yeah. Like, they were booked in for UK tours. See, I think that would have pushed them to level eight. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, they still have uh, <laughs> internet. What if I put local slash internet? Because people who are local can go see them, but they're still posting shit online. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think as well, because even for the international comedy festival we have here, some of the international comics that come here would probably fit somewhere in that area too. Like, even though they're international comics, they don't have that name recognition internationally if you know what i mean like yes. they're known because they come to this festival pretty often and it's a really good place to discover like comedians from other countries oh yeah for sure so yeah i'd, I'd fit them somewhere in eight or seven as well possibly okay got a new problem uh level six is completely empty actually i put them there like those ran like there's different comedians that you don't know actually internationally but you only know of them because of the comedy festival so semi known overseas yeah Okay. Semi known. See, you can become semi known by being an internet comedian as well. Because, like, for me, for one I think of is when I think it's Michelle Wolf. Mm-hmm. Like, she did the International Comedy Festival, and she's she's an international comedian, but she's not known that well. Um, like, she did the White House Correspondents Dinner and stuff okay but like i don't think many people if i ask like my mates if you've ever heard of her i don't think they would know her so that's that's the tough part it's like even the yeah like they're definitely like luke and lewis would be higher on this list than she would be but you see i Just, go around but even on open mics uh i'll go around it's like hey you know i'm going to this show with this do you know these guys and then every, almost everyone said no so it's like a completely different scene to that's be, true. to be internet and like live yeah like, that's fair it's it's strange it's diverse like that's for sure like yeah. people's on like what people know of comedians and stuff because like carl Barron would be pretty well known that's, he, he's he's what uh, international that's that's level nine yeah at <laughs> least at least level nine yeah, i'm gonna i'll write it down carl Barron. i think there were talks about going to see his show this year yeah one of our mates was proposed you, to see. Were you, were you say? Were you going to say yes to that or not? I think I said no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said no too. <laughs> Sorry, they're not going to listen. They'll claim that. Oh yeah, I'll listen. No, they won't. Maybe they will. This is a call out to you. You know who you are. I'm not going to say your name, but you we, know. We already see quite a few comedians, so we have to. Oh like, yeah. You know, it gets pricey after a while. <laughs> Dude, I, I dropped like 350 bucks. Yeah. This, this year for like the next couple months. Exactly. Yeah. I say couple. It was literally two months. Yep. Seven shows. Yep. Bro, it's gonna be. It's gonna be fucking good. And yeah. I'll, have, I'll have heaps to talk about. Like, uh, I'm willing to do that for the comedians I absolutely love. Yeah. I want to see. Like, I think I've told you the story about how I went to Sydney just to see a comedian. Which one? Uh, Liza Schlesinger. Because uh, she, the night she was coming to Melbourne yeah. was the same night I had tickets for Michael Bublé. So oh, right. I didn't want to miss either one of them. Yeah. So I went to Sydney three days earlier to catch a show in Sydney. Oh fuck it! And That's then, some dedication. And then I flew back the morning of the concert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was totally worth it. It was actually a great adventure, and it was yeah. It was That's good. good. That's fuck. That's some commitment there. Yeah. Nah, bro. Fucking good on you. That whole trip cost me. I think like it was like not that much. I think it was like three hundred bucks the whole trip accommodation flights yeah. everything i got a good deal on everything like yeah that's just because i was determined like <laughs> yeah well obviously if you've got that level of determination you're gonna get shit done it yeah. sounds like you did yeah yeah Bro, that's good worth it. now uh level 10 wasn't defined uh that's joe rogan yeah right? 
Now, there is only one Joe Rogan, so I think I should just call it the Joe Rogan level. Yeah. Where yeah. people try to cancel you left, right, and center. <laughs> Joe Rogan. Name recognition. You're on the news. Like, yes, like <laughs> for, not, for not your comedy. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually. That's true. To be a comedian and then be on the news for, yeah, something like, oh, I guess sort of. If it's... Well, no, you'd be on the news... You know what's funny? The way they try to introduce, like, they try to, like, talk about him on the news. It's like, yeah. he's an MMA commentator, comedian, and he's got a podcast. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they don't, one of these they is don't the know most how popular? to, yeah, they don't know which yeah. one to go with and how to really define him. Like, <laughs> you'd go with um, comedian because comedian is such a. Um, I would say bro. comedian for sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, but actually, oh, dude, not even, not even a year ago. Actually, no. Just over a year ago, uh, I was talking with my mate Anthony uh, and with Moss, too. And he go and we're like, oh yeah, you know, do you know who Joe Rogan is? Because we he's not he's not very knowledgeable in things. He just doesn't know things sometimes. And he's like, oh yeah, the UFC commentator. I'm like, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, like that's how he knows him as. And, and then uh, Moss is like, no, 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 he's the guy from Fear Factor. And then <laughs> I've just danced around him <laughs> uh, for a bit. But no, no, it's funny because he didn't he didn't recognize him as you know. It blows my mind that people don't know that he's a comedian as well. Yeah, well, I mean, I only discovered him, like, four years ago, I think, when um, I was playing UFC with my mate, like, mm. UFC 2, I think it was, um, and he had the DLC for Joe Rogan, yeah. <laughs> so he played as Joe Rogan when he fought against me, Yeah, and he was like, bro, aren't you, like, how funny is it that Joe Rogan's in the game? And I'm like, who's Joe Rogan? And he fucking lost it on me. <laughs> he's like, you are, you, that. are you joking, mate? Like, because he's also a bit of a comedy fan. And he's yeah. like, how do you not know this guy? Yeah. He immediately switched off the PlayStation. We watched, like, his two comedy specials on Netflix at the time. Four years ago, hang on, was that, that's... That was, like, 2018. 2018. Yeah. And when was the, uh, the Netflix special, the triggered one? That came out shortly, after, like, at around that time, I think. So was that the one that you watched? I watched... The like previous one yep. and then the new one he also put up. Wait, uh, Strange Times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, oh, fuck, which one? I watched one of them recently. I don't remember which one it was. Was it the? Was it the? It's the one that had the Harvey Weinstein joke. Oh, uh, okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? I can't. You gotta refresh my memory. Uh, that's the one where but... it's like, well, it was like it was just when Harvey Weinstein got arrested, and he's like, oh, you know, the bit basically goes, oh, you know, he's her. I'm not going to do this justice at all, by the way, but I'll try my best. Uh, he's like, yeah, uh, Harvey Weinstein, you know, he's fucking horrible. You know, he's telling all these women, hey, if you want to, if you want to, uh, a role in this movie, you gotta let me fuck you. Like, essentially, like, that's yeah, what it was. Yeah. Uh, and that's horrible, you know, if he did that to my daughter, you know, to come there and I'd beat the shit out of him. But if Harvina Weinstein said that to my yeah. son with a yeah. solid contract, yeah. it'd be like, dude, you're gonna be Batman. <laughs> Like that was the joke, and it was, it's 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 so fucking good. Yeah. Like, yes, oh, man. And he's talked about it on his show before as well. You know, ri rival show Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah, yeah. Now he's good. He's good. See, I wasn't I wasn't too keen on his actual stand up initially, but fuck it, I'm listening to the podcast once a week. But then those episodes go for three hours. I'm hearing this mm. cunt talk in my ear while I'm like lifting shit at work. <laughs> three hours a week and it's like it's strange it's strange like i do i do enjoy shit um it's got very diverse content as yes well. yeah like i mean just between you and me like we listen to different things as well like mm. i love listening to him when he has like soldiers on and they talk about that ex their experiences in war yeah but then i can also turn around and listen to him talk about conspiracy theories like <laughs> okay. conspiracy theory ones are really good so one of the best episodes of the uh, the joe rogan experience is the second time that he gets Alex Jones on, right? Yeah. Was this the one where it blew up, like, and yeah. people freaked out? Like, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I think, I think it was... I can't remember if it was Alex Jones Returns or if there was possibly a third one because Tim Dillon, yeah. right, he was in one of them as well. And I think that was the third one. Was that the one where he wanted them to argue about stuff and Joe was kind of the mediator of it? That was the second one. That was okay. where we had uh, Eddie Bravo on as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's the one with the clip where... um uh because eddie bravo is a flat earther yeah yeah and then that's when they start arguing and joe like he's like alex jones is getting fucking pissed like, he's going red he's yeah. screaming that's the one that's number two thanks for enjoying my memory uh because <laughs> i was like fuck i need to know where this one was no the one with tim dylan episode that's the third one that was a very fucking good one and i'm glad that there's a natural segue there to talk about tim dylan as well because he's good right good mates with joe 
and yeah, Joe. Like, yeah, first name basis. So me and old mate Joe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good mates with Joe Rogan and he's starting to get some recognition. Like, he wants controversy like what Joe Rogan has. Like, he went on a fucking rant on his podcast and he's like, I'll say anything. I'll say AIDS isn't real to just get, <laughs> just to get the attention, right? He, he'll fucking, he'll say anything. And I believe him. He will. <laughs> like, I've got to show you some of his bits because what you he have does. have showed me a few and I love them. Oh, dude. Good. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to see. He's on, he's on the comedy festival uh, list. Like, yeah. I was, I was fucking surprised. Like, oh shit, he's coming down. Yes. Uh, and I then, did get an ad for that actually. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking ever. He's, he's, he knows his audience. Yeah. I yeah. got a fucking Reddit ad for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the kinds of people who've got to see Tim Dillon. But nah, man, he's, he's good. And I reckon I'd put him based on how we've defined uh, everyone. I'd say national US level eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that seems fair. Yeah. And Tim Dillon. Yeah, he's good. Did you want to go through some other comedians to try and fit them? Yeah, in yeah, yeah. List? Of course. Uh, Jimmy Carr. Jimmy Carr. Britain. He's he's really popular in Britain. Like he would probably yes. be the similar spot as Joe Rogan would be, but only True. in Britain. Or so, in the European area. Because he's done, he does heaps of TV shows and stuff as well. I reckon can put him at level 9 then, because level 10 is the Joe Rogan level, right? Yeah, okay, that's fair. So, because I would see, before I even knew what stand-up was, I was seeing him, there's a clip where he like pulls out a, yeah, we called it a chatterbox, you know, with the folding yeah. uh, box thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, where he's like, if you want my comeback, you scrape it off your mum's chin or teeth or something like that. I saw that clip on yeah. Facebook before, um, before I even knew what stand-up was. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. actually... Same with Burt Crisis the Machine bit. The yeah, first time I did that. Yep. I saw that. I ever fucking remembered that after then learning about who Burt Crisis actually yep. was years and years later. Yep. And Same. That's social media really changed how you discovered comedians. Oh like, yeah, bro. Yeah. That's like that's why it's a fucking weapon. Mm. Yeah. So I'm gonna put um, Jimmy Carr international. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. That's fair. What about Burt Crisis? Also another friend of Joe. Yeah. Joe Rogan. Hmm. Like I would, he's. I don't think he'd be, because he's only really known for that one bit that one. Because that's the other thing. I reckon the the comedians have the possibility to move between the levels mm -hmm. at the higher end of the spectrum as well. So like at that point in time, he probably would have been like Joe's level. But I reckon he's a bit lower than Joe now. So probably nine. Nine or, being or international. So okay, you got to think of it. Joe Rogan's above. Right? Yeah. Joe Rogan's at the top. Well, he's going to be at the top. That's ten. I'll show you the phone. Yeah. So Joe's at 10, level 9 we've put Carl Barron and Jimmy Carr. I reckon we have to put him on the same level as Tim Dillon at 7. You mean 8? Eight? 8, sorry. Eight, yeah, eight, okay, eight, yeah. Eight, I can, yeah, 8 seems alright. <laughs> I can handle it. Yeah, yeah, of course you can, bro. You've got no choice. No, handle it. I was going to say, I can accept that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got no choice. Yeah, okay, alright. <laughs> uh, say Bert Cry. How the fuck do you spell his surname? You get the idea. It's, <laughs> it's just Bert. Bert K. Bert K. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, a friend Bilber. of Bert K will be, uh, fucking, what's his name? Two Bears, Tom, One K. Tom Segura. Tom Segura, that's it, same level. Yeah, that's fair, yeah. Uh, nah, he's got good, some good shit too. I haven't seen the newest special, but I, like, I was working my way through mm. him, I think I told you last month. Yeah. Nah, bro, he's good. They're, all these guys, right, it's all, like, they're all white guys, but they all have different perspectives. You think Tom's white? <laughs> well, he like, kind of is. Like, I know he knows Spanish, but <laughs> well, in my in my head, I picture him as a white guy. What is he then? I'm pretty sure he's South American, bro. Fucking, eh, all right, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't know enough about Tom Segura. Clearly, you don't see color. <laughs> yes, yes, that's exactly right. It's a problem. No. <laughs> okay, all right. Tom Segura is is in there because. Yeah, yeah right. just just good, just cuz. All right, what a, what I'm gonna quickly fill in uh, Luca Moose onto level seven being local slash. Yeah. No, actually, yeah, local slash internet because they're below. They're not at level eight. Yeah, yeah. Where are we? we've put Tim Dillon, Bert Kreischer, and Tom Segura. So let's put Luke Kidgel and Lewis Spears. I'm trying to. I'm thinking of some more, but what about like Joey Diaz? <laughs> see okay Joey he has he has a cult like following <laughs> like, yes. he's like isn't he like the he's been described as the mayor of new jersey or so, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah he's 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 fucking known and because he does he does some of his bits in, with in spanish as well yeah yeah so okay. he's got an entire extra continent yeah. 
His, but is he that well known in Australia? I don't think so. No. People, All right. But only people who know him know him. That's the thing. Like internationally. Okay. So, so it's like you either you really know him or that's yeah. It. There's no real in between. Then I think he has to be at national level then. Yeah, because he's he's been he's been cameoed in movies and people don't know who he is. Yeah, bro. See, I didn't. I, I saw him in fucking Spider Man Two when yeah. I was six, and I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was in How I Met Your Mother, as well. Right. Yeah. He's in uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. See, I, that's another thing. I didn't even know who he was when I first watched that episode. And I looked yeah. back. I was like, hey, that's fucking Joey Diaz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <it's, laughs> uh, he was in uh, a movie, The Longest Yard, I think. Not sure. I know he's in the uh, Sopranos. Um, yep. Is that a TV show? A movie? Uh, no. What's it called? Many Saints of Newark. Is it? Not sure, but you, you, I wouldn't be surprised. Wait, Many Many Saints of Newark <laughs> is something else. I think he's even in video games too. Like <laughs> Mafia Three. Yeah, he's yeah. one of the boss. I saw and, that. And they That's literally true. just told him to like be yourself. Like, don't even worry about the like make a good. script. Like, yeah. <laughs> is he in GTA? There's someone else I'm thinking of. There's a comedian. Mm. Who's in GTA 4? I'm not sure. Bill Burr. He's in GTA 4? Bill Burr's How in GTA 4. This? Here, hang on, hang on. I gotta, this is, I'm not going to pause the recording. I'm going to see if I can just find yeah. a, a quick clip. And I'm going to keep talking while I stall, stall. Yeah, Bill Burr is actually in GTA 4. And he's, he's on... Well, Bill Burr, you could chuck on 8, right? 8, we've said as... That is national? Um, I need a quick clip. Because, yeah, he, he's he's probably known because of all of the, you know, his jokes about women. Like, <laughs> just to piss people off. <laughs> well, you see, okay, okay, so during lockdowns, right, he said, oh, I'm going to do a Zoom Zoom show Australia only. That shit was full. Yeah. Very fucking quickly. Yep. So if he came to Australia, he would sell out. Oh, anyway. yeah. Look, I would be buying tickets as soon as oh, I Oh, bro, same. I'm with yeah. you on that one straight away. All right, so wait, you oh, want to put him? I thought of another one for level 10 as well. Yeah. Kevin Hart. Fuck, yep, no ideas yep. for me. Level 10 is absolutely Kevin Hart. No questions asked. Cause, Eddie yep. Murphy. Eddie Murphy, yep. Kevin Hart. This is it's a superstar level. Yeah. Would you put... Uh, fuck, what's his name? Dave Chris, Chappelle? Yeah, I was going to say Chris Rock. Chris Rock, yeah. I would put him in there, yeah. Eddie Murphy. Like, their household names. like <laughs> Chris Rock, yep. I forgot how to spell Chris for a sec. <laughs> Chris Rock. Who was the other one you said? Uh, Dave Chappelle. Um, Dave Chappelle. Yes. Yep. We'll do. Uh, Dave Chappelle. Yeah, bro. He's very good at getting into trouble. It's it's very funny. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah, fucking level 10. That just blew up so quick. Yeah. I completely forgot about those guys. <laughs> but that's um, understandable, actually. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fill in some guys. Tell me if you've heard their bits before. Uh, oh, actually, I already know you have. Neil Kohatka. Yes. He'll be at, he'll yep. be at seven. But yep. he'll he'll be known internet because of the internet overseas as well. Yeah. But they're all that he does Australia based skits. Yeah. Like even going as he... far as like local suburbs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he fucking knows yeah. shit. Yeah. Um, putting Neil K. Any any name starts with a K. I don't know how to fuck to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fuck, who else is he with? There's, um... Friendly Geordies. Frenchy? Uh, Frenchy 2. Yeah. I'll put, put Frenchy in undis undisputably. He's in that level. Yeah. Dude, they fucking release Isaac Butterfield too. Oh, yeah, Isaac Butterfield as well, yeah. Um, they release, um, their specials on YouTube. Like, he, Isaac Butterfield, you know that? Remember we watched... So last year... I did, yeah. We, were, yeah. we, we stayed here, basically on a bender, for a weekend. Mm. And... In between going out to comedy shows, we watched Isaac Butterfield's special on Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah. That's on YouTube now. Yeah, I, I yeah. remember hearing about that, yeah. And it was a good fucking special. French. Hang on. I'm thinking of somebody. Uh, uh, while, while you're trying to remember, uh, Friendly Geordies. So he's known as, like, the, the news guy, the political news guy on YouTube. Yeah. But his shows are, um, so just Tom was telling me, cause he went to the one in Canberra. It's basically a Ted talk yeah, <laughs> with jokes in between and like, but graphs and shit. So I'd still put him on for internet category, but for different reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. 
right, dude, we're just gonna have a list of comedians here that we just know it's gonna be great <laughs> yeah um, friendly not friday who um, are you trying to remember i'm trying to think of aussie comedian really really popular guy um is he on the project or he, he hosts one of the shows and stuff sometimes he's on the radio uh on the radio um I'm, his name is eluding me right now um there's one uh older guy uh richard stubbs who our parents would know no nah, i'm talking about someone we know man bro fuck i don't know what's his name <laughs> oh i can't think of it now but if i can't i'll let you know um i'm trying to think as well the fox possibly would, would it be okay all right in the meantime where would you put uh hamish nandy <laughs> Oh, that's tough. Yeah. Bare minimum national. Yeah. But they are known yeah. overseas. Oh. They'd be at the high end of nat- national mm. then. Oh, that's a really good one. Yeah. That's very fucking good. Because in... Okay. I think national, because on their own, they wouldn't be as well known. Yeah, that's true. But together, it's Hamish and Andy. Yeah. Like, even in my mind, I had to take a minute to remember, okay, Hamish, Blake, and Andy. Yeah. Lee. So national it's yeah. gotta be national yeah though. but i'm writing them down as a duo hamish and andy yeah of course yeah <laughs> okay good uh international i'm putting bill burr in yep yeah. yep yeah. done no fucking problem who else do we know we should have made a list of people so we could refer back to it yeah that's okay that's all right we're doing pretty well okay where'd you put jim jeffries Ooh. surely surely international because of how big he is australia and uk yeah yeah and he's got a show in america as well like yeah the jim jeffrey show done he's yeah. in yeah, yeah. yeah that doesn't that's no yeah. fucking argument then jim yeah. jeffrey it's not jeremy and his freaking gun control bit went out of control as well <laughs> oh. did you hear about how he actually like made that he's well what do you mean like, like he um I know he there said was a, there was a, there was a mass shooting, right? Yeah, and then he got into basically a three day debate with some guy. Yeah, and he got all his material in that three day conversation for about yeah. twenty minutes. Everything, every point going back and forth was just talking with this one person, <laughs> and that's how it came to be. Yeah, it was so good. I remember watching his follow up special. Yeah, where he addressed the gun control bit because yeah. he's like he was talking about how it went viral and he became known as the guy for the gun control bit yeah. and he's just like I don't know if you guys know this but he's like I made up all the statistics in that entire special yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's so fucking good it, it, that's, that's, a, that's a that's a baller move yeah. seen, bro. bro you know what else he's also popular for his like takes on religion as well like you know yeah. he'd get he'd get invited to atheist conferences yeah. like what the fuck is an atheist conference it's just people it's like yep I don't believe that's, that's, <laughs> that's it that's hilarious yeah <laughs> And he's like, well, what the fuck am I going to say? Yeah. And yeah. he'd still obviously take the money. <laughs> Who wouldn't? But no, Jim Jeffries, international. There's no yeah. question there. Yeah, okay. The Australian comedian I was thinking of was yep. Dave Hughes. That's yes. it. Yeah. Okay. Bare minimum national. Yeah. Is he more popular than Hamish and Andy? Not, mm. not internationally, I don't think. But he's... He's, he's kind of focused on Australian market more, I feel. All right. National. Yeah. Dave Hughes. Because at least Amish and Andy have, like, a bit of experience internationally. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, he actually, he just dropped in on a club that I was at once. He I remember fucking, this. Too. Yeah. He fucking performed, and I was like, bro. Did he kill? Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course yeah. Of course <laughs> What sort of dumb question is that? Get the fuck out of here. Of you course he know. kills. Yeah, true. <laughs> okay. Uh... For, okay, rewinding back down to level five there's there'll be ones that i'll name and you'll be like no fucking clue so i'm gonna not name but i'm just gonna tell you that i for level five know. what about oh actually that's level five is yeah just definitely sure so just like people... where, where did we put luke and lewis we put luke and lewis at seven okay i reckon like kitty flanagan maybe at level six semi known overseas possibly because she'd show, does she show up on uh, like talk shows and game shows? Yeah, she does. <laughs> Semi known overseas, then Kitty Flanagan. Yeah, done. Kitty Flan. I'm just gonna put Flan. <laughs> no, I got it. Flan again. Cool. 
Oh, do you know who uh, Dil Rook Jai Singer is? No. Okay, <laughs> that's a problem then. But <laughs> he does. He was on um. There was a show on Amazon Prime called Last One Laughing. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Ten comedians get put in a room and they try to make each other laugh and they get they get one chance and then they're sent out the room and it yeah. just gets more and more intense as it goes. Does it sound familiar? That sh- concept sh- of a show. Possibly, yeah. Okay. Well, he was on that the Australia version where uh, Rebel Rebel Wilson was like hosting it. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty weird, good. Weird. I know you've got Amazon Prime. Fucking watch All it. Right, yeah, have a sus. <laughs> okay, I would have. You don't know. Would you consider Rebel Wilson a comedian? I think she does comedy, but not like stand up. <laughs> okay, okay. Everyone we've listed are stand ups. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we won't put her on the All list. Right, how about Whitney Cummings then? National. Yeah. Yeah. I agree, yeah. Not this nation, nation, but, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, national. Uh, and uh, Nikki Glazer. Yes. Uh, so I haven't seen much of her stuff. I don't think she'd be at Whitney's level. She might be just below. Whitney. So what you reckon, local but to American? Yeah, because she doesn't really perform internationally. She's very much US-based only. Okay. And a lot, of, a lot of her stand-up that she does get onto like streaming services and stuff is only like 20 minute bits and stuff it's not full like specials or anything yet thanks for the reminder fuck I forgot it no <laughs> Mark Norman Mark Norman yeah Mark Norman okay Ooh. so he also only really had the only thing I've seen of his on Netflix is there was like a the stand-ups like, yeah release yeah. and he got, he got 20 minutes on that that was fucking good maybe yeah. it was 30 minutes don't know but it was like regular Mark Norman shit I know you and I both watch his yeah. stuff he has he's not he wouldn't be national even i don't think yeah, his think audience is pretty niche I, I feel as well yeah yeah so what put him the same level as nikki glaze probably yeah i'd agree seven. yeah fuck yeah. that's that's disappointing yeah. but fair enough yeah that's that's tough like you have their comedians can be good but it just depends on how they've marketed themselves and stuff like where would you put fluffy yeah that's tough too because it's also <laughs> Is it, is it Europe or South America that he's... Um... South America. South America, okay. But he's popular everywhere because he was one of the first to get onto social media and start sharing his bits. And he's yeah. got all the cartoon versions and stuff of his. Yeah. Way before Joe even had the cartoons of his, like, podcasts and things like that. But people, when you say Fluffy... Like, again, actually, no. I fluffy saw... is recognizable. If you know what yeah. Fluffy is... You... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Have you seen Fluffy? Like, yeah, yeah, I know Fluffy. Yeah. Like, they... actually, I saw the clips, <laughs> You know, like, okay, the, um, the Indians are too nice to rob a yeah, bank. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that on Facebook <laughs> yeah. the same time that I saw, yeah. like, Bert crushes the machine bit yeah. and... The fact there's another one we brought up, but that's all right. Yeah, same time I yeah. saw that too. Yeah, that's when I got into him. That was like that takes me back to the year twelve days, basically. Nah, bro, earlier than that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Well, but like, yeah, but yeah, well, I'm just saying. Like that's when I remember like binging yeah. a bunch of this stuff. Fluffy, where can Fluffy go? Fluffy's at least level nine, man. I reckon. Because he's in Done. movie. He's all in right, movies right. too. Like, yep, level nine. Like he doesn't have Kevin Hart's like level, but he's like pretty well known i forgot to write in um joey diaz are we going to put international as well no i reckon slightly lower so national national yeah okay so yeah. we put because he doesn't really perform internationally much fluffy and what about uh russell peters russell peters i'm not sure i know that one holy shit <laughs> okay he's a maybe. bit of, he's a bit older yeah. <laughs> so maybe i know but i don't know that i know look like 10 years ago he would have been like joe rogan's level really seriously but he's probably he has moved back a few levels now because he hasn't been doing as much work all right well we're talking about current then we'll use that to define because otherwise yeah, you yeah can throw okay. in... so then probably national possibly he would be big in america and Canada. i can take your word for it but because i don't know him <laughs> yeah that's that's surprising i gotta show you some of his stuff after because really he's fun he's fucking good like, right. he, well, like he's like because that's my like that's one of my dad's favorite comedians like and he was quite big like he he did he's come to australia if he's done international tours like mm. he's at the time uh, but he hasn't done a like a proper special for like quite a few years now all right uh, okay was it russell peters you said yeah so i'd say i'd say national maybe now right now national yeah right. like our generation probably wouldn't know him because of his comedy has been that old now mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um what about uh Hassan minaj Nah, bro. No yeah, idea. Okay. I know he's popular in the Asian community, so... I'd, I'd say national, but, like... The only Asian comedians that I know and can name are Ronnie Chang and Jimmy O. Yang. Yeah, but he's... Um, he would be on the same level as Ronnie Chang, actually. Yeah? Yeah. 
And what? where would you put them? National? Yeah, because they both were writers for SNL and stuff. And um, The Daily Show and things. Like those types of... Hang on, is Conan a stand-up? Or is he just a writer and talk show host? Like, I'm pretty sure technically they've all had experience with stand-up. Yeah. But they've just gone into... Yeah. So I, I would say yes, like... So you would put them in here. Yeah, because they're basically doing, like, comedy, like, on their shows and stuff. Like These are all stand-ups, though. This is basically a... I've written comedy tier list, Because... But... Who was it? Someone... One of the talk show hosts... I can't, I'm trying to think who... But... I think it was, um... What's this guy's name? Uh... Guy with glasses. Guy with glasses. On talk uh, show? Yeah. Uh, As a guest? No, no, this is a host. The host. Guy with glasses. Oh, Stephen Colbert? Stephen Colbert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he did a, like, a, an open night. He did, a, like, a performance in a theatre. Like, recently. Like, like, in the last, like, two years or something. Like, he wanted to just do it for fun. Like, just to okay, get back well, to his roots. Talk show host is, is a different category. Yeah, but if they were, like... Like, Hassan Minaj started as a comedian. Yeah. And then... Did open mic nights, did the full thing. He did the full like gauntlet, but wanted to get into like p- political satire and, co- and comedy. And that it just happened to take him into like writing for The Daily Show and things. Right. And then he eventually got like his who, show on Netflix. Who's the black dude that's also on The Daily Show? Um, Trevor Noah? Trevor Noah, yeah. So I think he's doing stand up as Trevor well. Trevor Noah is a, yeah, yeah. stand up as well. So I think he might be the only, not only exception. I'd be more willing to make an exception for him than I would for the others. Okay, that's fair. But look, if it's, we could either have to do all all the talk showers or none of them, because right, I think do, let's do none for now. Yeah, because like, even yeah, even comedians, uh, SNL, like that's a yeah, yeah. But you don't see the latest comedy special with Adam Sandler. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you don't see that. But everyone knows like Billy Madison or like. Um, like oh fuck what other movies Grown Ups or like yeah um, yeah okay I guess yeah. yeah like all, all the gold of Adam Sandler movies yeah there, you know there was one year where there was like three Adam Sandler movies <laughs> like back to back that was a while and they were all like massive hits yeah and that's how he got rich enough to make his own film company basically like that's it's, yeah. it's fucking wild yeah yeah and actually I think it was Jimmy Fallon when, when Adam Sandler left uh, Jimmy Fallon was basically doing Adam Sandler bits on SNL like basically yeah like yeah. Adam Sandler was the guy with the guitar I think I don't know this might be complete bullshit <laughs> yeah. but I'm pretty sure Adam Sandler was the guy with the guitar for SNL and then then it became Jimmy Fallon and then it, from there he went on to do his talk show and that's how everyone fucking knows him because of YouTube and their algorithm and yeah. how that, all that shit's well, that shit's going. All right, so I'll pass this to you. Are you happy with this? Let's have a look. So do you want to give a summary? So level one, we've got the comedy consumer. Level yep. two, we have like open mic night level. That's me. Hooray. Which is Josh, yep. yep. Level three, you're probably one to two years into open mic nights and stuff. Still finding yourself in the community. Yep. Uh, level four, you're actually doing paid gigs. Possibly a show. Like you'd be with other comedians possibly like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to fill in the hour um level five definitely you're doing shows which would be like ruben solo yep level six you're like semi known overseas we've got kenny flanagan um level seven is local slash internet so that's where we've got luke kidgel louis spears neil kohatka did Frankie. you just fucking say louis spears yeah <laughs> louis louis <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, dude, fucking Louis C.K. Yeah. Where would you put him? Uh, fuck, that's funny, because... You have to go, like, what, national? Like, everyone knows his name. Like, yeah. <laughs> no one, they wouldn't have watched his comedy. Like, they just know mm. his name. That's true. I think Let's, you'd have to go national, then. National, but, like, in terms of, like, if you adjust for, like, if like the people you know forgetting like yeah. viral moves and current affairs it'd probably be seven like local internet like because he's performing again in in clubs and stuff and if he's getting specials we forgot, forgot, forgot to make a category specifically for specials there is someone at the door i'm gonna pause this real quick and we'll be right back 
All right, so sorry, sorry for the interruption. Uh, should have not left it on pause because uh, my housemate came in and he's like, "Yeah, look, uh, I just wanted to annoy you guys." All right, yeah, cool. And then he goes, hey, "You want free food?" I'm like, "Uh, yeah, we want free food." <laughs> so dinner's been fucking sorted out, uh, but now that means we have a time limit, so we will take a, a another very natural quick pause. And we'll keep going, because we've only talked comedy. We've had, that was one out of like yeah. nine topics we've brainstormed. We can keep this going, and I think we will. Yeah, we can keep going. Yeah, like, And this, this is how our conversations go always. Like, oh, 100%. We're always can... being interrupted by some other <laughs> rude cunt. Yeah, yeah, every fucking time. That, okay. And we can talk about things for hours. <laughs> yeah, and we will talk about things for hours. All right, so this this will be the, the pause, and we'll just jump back in as soon as we're done with our break. Sounds yeah? good. Sounds yeah. good. All right, sweet. All right, we're back, and I don't remember where we were at on the list. We were uh, finishing off the list, yes. Yes, but... I think we've hit local. Local? Who are you reading out? Do you want to just re- re-read out local? Yeah, so I was in the middle of reading out all the local comedians. Local so, slash internet. Yeah. So, so yeah. We've got Luke Kidgel, Lewis Spears. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right, you fucking cunt. <laughs> uh, Neil Kahatka, Frenchie, Isaac Battlefield, Friendly Geordies, Nikki Glazer, Mark Normand. That's all we got. Uh, level 8, The National. We got Tim Dillon, Bert Kreischer, Tom Segura, Hamish and Andy, Dave Hughes, Whitney Cummings, Joey Diaz, Russell Peters. Level 9, International. Got Carl Barron, Jimmy Carr, Bill Burr, Jim Jeffries, and Fluffy. And level 10, these are the greats. Joe Rogan, Kevin Hart, Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock, and Dave Chappelle. There we go. I think that's pretty fucking good, considering yeah. that we spent an hour doing this. <laughs> so... <laughs> The moral of the story is uh, Joe Rogan deserves a doctorate. <laughs> that's right. Yes. Basically, that's what we're saying. We're here to advocate it. We're starting a petition on change.org. Get Joe Rogan. Do- make it Dr. Joe Rogan. Doctorate right? of comedy. Doctorate of comedy, bro. If you could actually do that, that'd be sick. That, that's like that's something that gets framed. You know how like doctors and like physicians and shit, they have their qualifications framed and put in their office. Yep. Yep. Same thing with comedians. I frame it and they hang it on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that shit. Yeah, bro, that'd be good. You'd get one for each special, right? Yeah. You'd get one for um, every all... time you were almost cancelled. <laughs> Okay, but here's the thing with cancel culture, right? It's like, it doesn't actually, like, the, the purpose, like, the, the premise behind cancel culture, right, is to say, hey, yeah, we're not having any of your shit anymore, like, stop this, change your ways. But for comedians, it just promotes their stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, it doesn't actually stop them. Yeah? Now, there was actually something cancel culture related that I wanted to segue <laughs> into. Uh, and this is a very, uh, I didn't actually plan that. Uh, very, very well made. Here. If you want to read what this headline says out loud preferably read the headline <laughs> with, instead of fucking like out loud read the fucking headline <laughs> okay it says the headlines from bbc news world jk rowling hits back at putin after russian president cites her in speech condemning cancel culture right so now yes i did see this like yeah. <laughs> article and i did see the tweets <laughs> yes so it's like it's if vladimir putin he's, who's currently invading another country <laughs> Is like, yeah, this bitch, she had it right. <laughs> there's probably something wrong with this bitch. <laughs> now, there's a tweet that I've added on here uh, from someone else. So the guy's name is Carl. And Carl says, it's always a good time to remind everyone that Pottermore once published a now deleted article arguing that slavery was good. Now, that kind of ties into JK Rowling's thing, but that was based on like her world, her opinions and her oversight and she fucking let that happen so basically what i'm saying is jk rowling is pro-slavery and putin agrees that's what i'm saying (laughs) all right (laughs) now uh yeah any any uh any extra thoughts on uh i think i think putin's a fan of the harry potter books (laughs) (laughs) i think that's the ultimate takeaway from this what do you think i'm not touching this with any (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> bro, I can see your face. You're like, bro, we're getting into some nervous territory yeah. now. <laughs> bro, it's like there's nothing. There's nothing you want to even think about saying. <laughs> bro, I can see you. You're like blocking off thoughts. Yes, because I, <laughs> I have a bad sense of humor or a dark sense of humor, and yeah. I will say something fucked up. <laughs> yes, yes. But, okay, if it's too far, I'll beep it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and if it's not. 
You don't want to risk it? No. You want to get... Okay, all right. I'll give you some time. Like, it's just too funny. Like, <laughs> it's too... All right, okay. Now, in fairness, I have said some fucked things in the past, not all of which are public, but, you know, I, I, I understand where you're coming from. Uh, speaking of slaves, actually, there's a fun fact here. Uh, to avoid the use of CGI, Quentin Tarantino actually raised 200 slaves himself for the movie Django... <laughs> For the movie Django Unchained, right? <laughs> now this is true, 100% true. Uh, this happened in 2013, actually. He was a bit behind by about 100 years. <laughs> this is all, all, all true, by the way, yeah. Uh, actually, additional fact, after production finished, he later sold the slaves for a profit. <laughs> now... I think he got some pointers from J.K. Rowling there. <laughs> Is there such thing as modern slaves? I think yes. Yeah, there is technically, and uh, good old Quentin Tarantino took advantage of that. What do you think? <laughs> oh, we need a minute. <laughs> oh, sorry, oh. I couldn't even sit there. <laughs> <That's too funny. laughs> My chest hurts. <laughs> Oh. I prepared all three of those in a line. It's like this has to kill, otherwise I'm just gonna sound like a fucking racist. <laughs> oh, okay. This is the second time Josh has made my chest hurt. <laughs> <laughs>